All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to your next Android tutorial. Now, I've covered intents in the past. However, I haven't covered certain areas of intents. So what we're going to do is we are well, I'm going to cover intents. Um, so first thing we're going to need to do is create our new project as usual. Android application project. And my caps lock is on for some reason. I was playing armor earlier and I needed to talk over direct. So intense tutorial and just say TE as usual. And I'm not bothering with compatibility and that nonsense this time. So just Android 4 and be done with it. And I'm just going to start up Jenny Motion. Okay, so Jenny Motion is starting and we're ready to go. So, what is an intent? Intents are quite complex things in Android and they tend to handle a lot of the system. Intents are essentially how I think of them is how one thing communicates with another in the system in general. Shrink that down to a reasonable size. So an intent, there's two major types of intents, implicit and explicit. Now an implicit intent essentially says do this and do this only. While an explicit, no that's an explicit intent, sorry. Implicit is when your manifest, is when your app can respond to certain types of intents. So the first thing we need to do anyway to demonstrate an explicit intent is create a second activity. It's the easiest way to do it. So create a new class where we're going to have a second activity. And we're going to browse for activity. Nope. Activity. What's activity compat? Compat honeycomb, compat jelly bean. What the fuck are those? They must be um, for the support library. Anyway, here we go. Second activity extends activity. And we're going to make a very quick layout. Take that button there. Uh, layout, just create a linear layout. Actually, where's frame? I like frame layouts. I use them a lot lately. They're useful for separating out your layout. And we're going to call this second activity. Just throw in a text view. Modify the gravity. Stick it in the center, make it nice and big. 30 scaling pixels. Edit text and we're just gonna call this um Don't worry, we'll use this text view in the middle in a minute. And we're just gonna have to create around create. Control shift O. Alt shift O, control shift. What the hell? <laughs> oh father. What the hell is the code for that? Source. I should be able to get this up normally, but I just can't seem to do it. Oh, it's Control Shift S, isn't it? Nope. Tell you what, we'll just do it manually. We need uncreate. Uncreate bundle. And set content view, usual nonsense. Yeah, boilerplate nonsense. Okay, we're all done. So we've got our thing set up. We're going to refer our text view actually. And I'm well aware, guys, of the control space thing. I just don't use it out of habit and laziness and because I'm an idiot. I said text an ID on this, the text view one. Yeah, doesn't matter. Got a text view. 
Okay. So as we know, if we want to start uh, a second activity from a main activity, oh yeah, we have to register the activity in the manifest. Better not forget that, very important. Otherwise things will be getting hairy. Application, add activity, name, wait for it to search. Save it. Okay, second activity good, ready to go. Right, now we've got that ready. So in our main activity, we want to start a second activity. And ideally what we should do here actually is add a button. So I'm just gonna drop a button in, put that in the center. There we go. So we're going to send an intent with the button, and we could do this the hard way. I'm going to send. I'm going to say Android. I'm going to use the shortcut method equals uh, send intent. And then we need to implement the method. Then intent view v. Okay. So this method will be called every time you press the button. You can set a click listener with this method here. Uh, okay. So let's, let's create our intent first off to start our second activity. context for intent oh yeah so in order to just start up a second activity you're just creating new intent and using the class constructor intent and then second activity dot class and then we start Nope. Start activity intent. So that's an explicit intent. We're saying create this intent and then start an activity using that intent. In our last tutorial, I showed you how to send broadcast with an intent. And you can also have start service. So our emulator has uh, kicked up, ready to go. So we'll run this project and we'll see our intent working. Send intent, second activity comes up. Press back, we go back. Beautiful. So that's it for this video, I suppose it's eight minutes. And um, what I'm going to do is in the next video, we're going to send an activity, or we're going to start that activity using an action string. And then we're going to work on share intents, uh, implicit intents, you know. Um, we'll do those in the next few videos. But anyway, guys, as always, good talk, and I'll see you out there.